Hi everybody, I'm out here in my garage today. I just finished uh, reorganizing my tackle bag and I've been wanting to do a video on this bag for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this opportunity now that the bag is all clean and organized to kind of walk you guys through what I think is the perfect uh, tackle bag for bank fishing. So this bag, this is by Red Rock uh, Bags and unfortunately it's actually a discontinued model. But any, um, any bag that that is of this style or even like existing tackle bags too will work let me just walk you guys around the outside so here in the front i've got a pocket which i don't put anything inside just so i can like shove stuff because you always need a pocket for shoving things and what i actually use this pocket for the most is for like trash so a lot of times like if i'm fishing there's um people who just leave trash everywhere like line that they that they um have gotten caught in a tree and i'll catch their line so i pull up that up or or you know the ends of clips and things and so i i bag this part here a lot for trash that i find and it's easy it's small it's easy i just reach in there there's nothing else in there okay um and here right in this part of it sorry is uh like tools and things like I have this set up for fly fishing because I'm going fly fishing next week um so this part of my bag is this part anyways these are my fly stuff but you know any any kind of like small organization stuff you know my pliers are out here uh, big tools that um I use but I don't use every time they go out there now the tools that I do use all the time for example my snippers like these right i love these by the way because they're on this retractable retractable um line and my uh, hemostats they all go on this carabiner here on the outside of my d-ring and what i love is that if if i am fishing sorry if i'm fishing and you know i need to get to that tool real quickly i know i can just reach around right here and my tool is right there ready to just grab and so that's you know when when i put this whole bag on me those tools those two tools that i use the most are right here on my side the other thing is you're going to notice that this bag isn't a traditional backpack it's actually a sling backpack and and the dexterous one so you can do it over your left shoulder or over your right shoulder um and i do it this way because it frees up my casting arm to for for a, a wider range of motion the other thing that i that i did it a reason why i i use this is because i was in a car accident maybe about 10 years ago and uh, because of my car accident if i put too much weight on my shoulder on one of them uh then uh it actually pulls like on a nerve in the, my back and and stuff so if you have like injuries and things like that you know something to consider is, in, is one of these sling backpacks uh let me keep going around this so on this side in this bag is in this pocket is actually a rod holder so a lot of the times i'm carrying two rods with me my spinning rod and my casting rod especially for a bank fish you can't carry 20 rods with you like you do on a on if you're on a boat right so i carry a spinning rod and i, I carry a casting rod so my spinning rod for all my lighter stuff my texas rigs and then um and then for all my heavier stuff like jigs and and chatter baits and things like that i use my uh, my casting but anyways it's here my rod will fit right in here right it sticks out a little bit but i can actually zip this up and uh, when i zip it up it actually provides that support to keep the the rod from from uh, wiggling around i got this idea from a buddy of mine who fishes around here he makes wonderful kayak crates and he has like just a regular backpack that has like a little mesh pocket on the outside here and he just shoved a tube right in there and i went you are a genius dude so i did the same thing this is held uh, in by velcro this velcro is probably some of the best velcro i've ever used in my life it is it's just a sticky back on both sides and it's coming apart a little bit on this side because i did a really bad job when i put it in but um as you can see in a second in the rest of the bag it actually holds really really well and i'll put a link to to where i purchased this on amazon um when uh, uh down down at the bottom okay uh before i get to the main compartment i have the side here right and this um <laughs> This is a tactical bag. So Red Rock makes a lot of tactical backpacks and things. So this is meant to be like where you would conceal a handgun or something. Um, I just put stuff in there. So like if I have new lures that I'm trying, new baits that I'm trying, or if I just ran over to Bass Pro and I bought, like, well actually, for example, 
true story. I ran into uh, to Bass Pro the other day, and I grabbed some um, some bandito bugs, and I had nowhere to put them, or I didn't have the time to like put them in the actual bag, so I just shoved them back here, and I kind of forgot about them. And so, uh, anyways, it's it's actually cleared out, but lots of space back here for whatever you need, like food, I guess. Um, but let's get to the main compartment, which is the fun part. Uh, where's the zipper? There it is. So, in this main compartment, this is where I've made most of my adjustments, right? Lots of adjustments and lots of modifications and things to the main compartment to make this really, really user-friendly when I'm on the wall. So, um, well, this bag by Red Rock, the, when it was made, it actually had all of the the soft side of, uh, I'm sorry, the soft side of Velcro. It's all along this body, the inner body part here. Not the sides, but just the inner part here. And the idea was Red Rock actually sold like pockets um, uh, similar to these mesh pockets that you could actually just go in and, you know, they had the Velcro on the back and you just shove them wherever you want them. I loved the idea, absolutely loved the idea of having something very modular, something that I could customize, change around, and I wasn't stuck with pockets that would just, you know, stationary, and they wouldn't go anywhere, and I would have to, you know, switch out gear or get a new bag if I wanted to, to change, you know, my, my fishing uh, styles. Um, the other thing is, is like the pockets were never the right size, right? I hated that. So uh, when I saw this bag by Red Rock, I was like, this is genius. This is actually bag number two. Bag number one was stolen. I spent a lot of time on bag number one. Bag number one, what I did was I went in with uh, with the, the Velcro and I added it to the sides, just like I did right here, all right? And I went in and I hand stitched it all, spent forever on it, great stuff. And then one night somebody broke into my car and took my, my all my gear and my tackle bag too and I cried a lot. And now with the second bag, I just got sticky stuff. So this is sticky Velcro. Um, and again, great Velcro, and I just cut it and I put it all along this side, sorry, all along this side, and then all along this side as well. Um, the the pockets are from Condor, and I think I got those on uh, on Amazon as well, and they have Velcro on the, the entire back side is Velcro. And so because of that, this sucker ain't moving, right? Um, and then these smaller bags, right because I had to go find the right size and I got really lucky because I think it's Lawrence who makes the um, bags for like cameras digital uh, SLRs and things these are pockets that go inside their camera bags because their camera bags are all set up with this velcro style as well and so I saw those and I was like oh my gosh I think those are all the sizes I need and so there was a pack of five and I just grabbed them all but as you can see they fit these you know like the little bags for like your gamakatsu hooks or like right here I'm carrying J hooks by owner they just slide beautifully in there and then they you just hold it in place that way you're not digging around in you know, at the <laughs> Like with my old bags, right? All the hooks were either, were like in some random pocket in the front and all just shoved in there along with everything else. Or, you know, lo and behold, um, some of my older bags where my terminal tackle was at the very bottom. And every time I need a new hook, I'd have to dig through soft bags of soft plastic and line and all this stuff to find my, my terminal tackle. Um, but anyways, it's, you know, my, my, my hooks are right here. And then on the other side, this is actually my leader material. I fish uh, braid to, to floral leader. And so I need, you know, if, if I win, I need to change out my leader. I hate having to dig around for line. I also hate having line that's just free and, you know, somewhere in there. And then the, the line comes unattached. Next thing you know, you have like three feet of line that's that's not in your spool anymore and so this and with this setup i can just grab the tag end here and i can just pull and i can take as much line leader line as i want and then cut it and then guess what it's going to stay in there i don't end up with like tag and you know wrapped up in all my stuff so that is this side of the bag. Um, let's go and move over to this side, which is a lot simpler. On here, I have Velcro as well. Now, I ran out of Velcro to actually finish out this side the way I wanted it to. Or actually, take it back. I had enough to do the little strips right there, um, but that's it. Um, I need to buy more because what my plan is to do is, is to fill up this entire inner panel here with uh, Velcro. Um, and the reason why I do that is because you see how it's coming apart there? All right, that is, that is because... 
of, of the way that I've set this up. On the other panels, when the, the pieces of Velcro are, are wider and longer, um, they don't seem to, seem to, to come off the bag as much. Anyways, this is a very thin 3600. I can't remember the model number, but it is from Plano. And what I love about this, like for example, right now, this is set up for like pond fishing. So my jigs are in here. I've got, I've got a couple of top waters and things like that. But um, if I'm going to go to a big lake, you know, where I'm not going to be using these, I'll be using more like crankbaits and lipless crankbaits and things. Then all I do is I, I take off this box and then, you know, because it's Velcroed in, I just take it off, stash it somewhere else, and then put my crankbait one, which is set up very similarly to this with the Velcro ends as well. And then my bag, you know, in two seconds goes from a pond bag to a, a you know, a, 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 what do you call it, um, a, a lake bag. And, you know, that's really, really important. You have to be able to stay, you know, versatile, um, especially when you're bank fishing, you know. So, like here, you know, if I was fishing on a boat, I would have my, my, you know, my jig rod. I would have my crankbait rod. I would have my soft plastic rod, et cetera, et cetera. I would have, you know, ten, you know, rods just laid out on on the deck, and I just grab whichever one I need to go. But unfortunately, you know, when you're bank fishing, you're very limited. And I've seen guys like try to tote like four Plano boxes with the entire. <coughs> You know, basically their entire tackle uh, inventory with them. And it's just, it's not feasible. You know, it limits your amount of movement. You get tired faster when you're going to want to go home faster. You know, for me, one, one skinny Plano box, that's all I need. You know, and I change it out depending on where I am. So, like I said, this one's set up for pond fishing. You know, this one is set up for, um, like I said, pond fishing. If I need to, I can just rip it out, put the one in for, um, for, um, for, for, lakes you know and stuff and you know because these are versatile i could like literally customize this box to wherever it is that i'm fishing one of the things that i like to do is uh, right now it's pretty full because like i said i just kind of reorganized this but usually i've got like one or two empty compartments all right and i use those for like lures that i find you'd be surprised how many lures people just leave wherever they were fishing you know maybe they forgot it or they cut it off and it just fell out of their pocket or whatever but um I always have like space to just put new stuff in that I find. Well, and like for example, like this frog, and I think these two baits, and even this heat, and I think they they were all well, maybe in this cotton cordel here too. I think I found all of these um, on a pond, and so I just put them in my bag. And what I love is that I can just you know give it to a kid whenever I see them. But it keeps these these treble hooks um for on these lures from like getting into everything and and even if i'm shoving them into you know my front pocket my trash pocket here they would get hooked onto everything and so i always just trying to keep something empty like i'll probably move that frog out because I'm, I'm i don't use a lot of frogs um but anyways um again very versatile bag and you know in the box because you can just switch them out with this setup specifically it just it makes this bag very very um versatile i keep using that word but it really is for example this bag is not only my largemouth bass bag but it's on my white bat it is also my white bass bag and my fly fishing bag uh, whenever i go fly fishing i just take out all my bass stuff and load it up with um all my uh, fly boxes which all have um, let me give you an example here sorry like my fly boxes all have the Velcro on the back of it too. So I'll just take off this, you know, this bag of Cinco's here and then I'll just pop that in, you know, and I'll pop uh, probably this box in there too. And then I'm ready to go. And I have all my flies on that side. Obviously this side I would probably take out and not carry it at all because I hate being really heavy on the water if I'm wading and fly fishing. You know, it's usually just these two boxes and uh maybe one other box and then again it just i don't like carrying more stuff than i need because when you're you're bank fishing you know more stuff equals weight weight equals tiredness tiredness equals no more fishing and i'm not you know i'm not about that at all i'm about to stay on the water as long as possible so um anyways that's my bag um hopefully you got you know something good out of this uh and uh and and you know shoot me questions if you um if you have any um any recommendations and things i'd be glad to you know keep modifying this bag um and uh i don't know show me what you got
All right, 10-4.